Now, recently we had a uh, venture capitalist, uh, Tom Perkins, who's a billionaire, say that the rich are the new Jews uh, and progressives are the new Nazis, and that this discrimination against the top 1% is so unjustified, and they're the poor victims. Now, I want to show you an example here of how the rich, and in this case, multinational corporations, actually rig the rules in their favor. So quite the opposite. It's not that they're the poor victims. They're the ones that are making sure that they don't pay taxes and that they set up an unjust system, which invariably, of course, based on this, leads to income inequality and many other problems because we don't have a tax base. So in this case, we're going to highlight a couple of tax havens that corporations use. Uh, they're called uh, the Dutch Sandwich, which amazingly is not a sexual act, uh, the Double Irish, and the Dirty Sanchez. All right, fine, the Dirty Sanchez is not one of the uh, tax loopholes, uh, but it is kind of what they're doing to us. So uh, some of the companies, and there's a long list of companies that take advantage of these, but just some of them are in the tech world. Uh, Apple, Google, Amazon, Adobe, Microsoft, and the list goes on. Now, some of those companies we like a lot, because uh, they've supported us in the SOPA and people, uh, PIPA fights, where they protected internet freedom. Uh, and look, we make uh, most of our money through Google. So now let me jeopardize that and to use Google as an example. Ars Technica had a terrific article about this, the quote of Bloomberg News as well. And it used them, again, as one of many examples. They're not the only ones doing this, but it gives you a good sense of what happens. For example, in 2009, you know what the tax rate that Google paid was? 2.4%. Now, these are the same corporations that complain very loudly that uh, Obama's killing them. Right? That was during the Obama years, by the way. Uh, and look, again, across the board, not necessarily Google with those complaints, but all the multinational corporations, oh my god, they're not business friendly. We're paying too much taxes. Now I ask you, do you did you pay 2.4%? I paid a hell of a lot more. My guess is you paid a lot more. If all you did was pay your sales tax, you paid a hell of a lot more than 2.4% of your income. No, no, you see the rules are rigged in their favor, not against them. Okay? Google, again, to use them as an example, in 2012 moved $11.91 billion through Bermuda alone. Now, is it because they're doing all that business in Bermuda? No, they're doing almost no business in Bermuda. It's because it's a tax haven, it's a loophole. So now Ars Technica explains how these loopholes work. I'm going to show you what they said, and then I'm going to interpret it for you, okay? So they go on and explain. Here's how the double Irish works. A company sells or licenses foreign rights to an intellectual property developed in the United States to a subsidiary in a country with a lower tax rates. The result, foreign profits that come from that tech, like the rights to Google search and advertising technology, effectively the keys of the kingdom, are now attributed to that offshore subsidiary rather than Mountain View, California headquarters. So who does Google license its tech to? A fun little company called Google Ireland Holdings, headquartered in Bermuda. Bermuda, of course, has zero corporate income tax. So as a Bermuda company, Google Ireland Holdings pays none. So you understand how that works? The most important part of Google's business, they say, oh, we don't own it here in California. No, no, no. That's the subsidiary we got in Bermuda that does business through Ireland. No. Oh, what's the tax rate in Bermuda? Well, you look at that coincidence. It's zero percent. Hmm. We're getting him let. We're letting him get away with this. That's insane. Of course, the reason we let him get away with it is because all of our politicians are bought off by all of these corporations. They pay them legal bribes. All of this is legal, right? They say, okay, here's your campaign contribution. Here's your money to the conservative or, in some cases, corporate Democrat think tanks. And now you'll all go out and tell me why this makes sense, right? 0% rate in Bermuda. All right, there's more to this. This holding company based in Bermuda is owned by yet another Bermuda-based subsidiary, Google Bermuda Unlimited. That unlimited corporation means it is not required to disclose income statements, balance sheets, and other financial information. So as if it weren't enough that they are not paying any taxes on it, you can't find out about it. Sorry, it's all shielded by Bermuda law. <laughs> Does anybody really believe that the heart of Google's business is in Google Bermuda Unlimited? I mean, if you're a politician in America and you want to close that loophole, you're really going to say, oh, well, no, well, no. Yeah, Google does most of its business with Google Bermuda Unlimited. Who would be that stupid to believe that? 
No, they all agree to something that they know isn't true, so they can give them all the breaks in the world. All right, uh, it's going to get more fun. Now they explain this part. But getting money tax-free from Ireland to Bermuda requires a stopover in the Netherlands, the Dutch sandwich part. At Google Netherlands Holdings B BV, this entity, according to Bloomberg, pays out about 99.8% of what it collects to the Bermuda entity the company filings show. The Amsterdam-based subsidiary lists no employees. <laughs> Who's eating that Dutch sandwich? <laughs> well, we're being forced to eat it, but there's nobody in Amsterdam. I mean, how brazen is it? Oh, no, no, we passed through twice through Ireland, and then we, we had the sandwich over in, uh, in Amsterdam. There's no employees there. There's no tax in Bermuda. <laughs> and all the business is done in the US. Of course, they have international business, but that's why they funnel all of this business through Bermuda so they don't have to pay the taxes, and they take advantage of these legal loopholes. Now, if we gave a damn, we'd stop those, of course. And in fact, the good news is some people do give a damn. So uh, 15 countries have gotten together, the OECD, and uh, they've decided they're going to pass a reform that tries to bring all the nations together to stop this. Of course, those corporations are livid. So it might, uh, must actually be good reform, otherwise they wouldn't care, right? Anytime that Obama does fig leaf reform, oh, we're gonna reform things, uh, and the insurance companies are like, oh great, you're gonna give me more customers? Great. Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, historic healthcare reform, right? But in this case, they're like, wait, no, 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 don't hurt us. So this is real. And as Ars Technica explains, if such reform passed, it would harmonize tax law within the European Union, and ideally worldwide, such that these types of shell games, albeit legal, would no longer be necessary, and that would be wonderful. Of course, Europe is leading on this. The US, mm, we're kind of run by those same multinational corporations. And finally, I go to their attorneys for their excuse, and I love this. Baker and McKenzie says, no, 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 you don't understand. If we actually had to pay taxes, well, then some of our investors might not give us as much money. Oh, is that right? Huh? Like if you had to be treated like other American citizens. They say, in some cases, the market will give significant value to an enterprise even before the enterprise has revenue. Investors are willing to contribute capital to loss-making enterprises on the belief that these enterprises are investing heavily in the creation of value, which at some point in the future might be successfully monetized. I love that quote. Interpretation. Look, our, oftentimes our businesses lose money. Now, in the case of Google, they don't, of course. But other businesses, they were in the tech world. We lose money all the time. If our investors didn't think that they were going to rob you blind with, the, with these lower taxes, they might not invest in us. And <laughs> how is that our problem? Why don't you run a good business that makes a lot of money, which again, at Google does, but not some of the others, right? So that you wouldn't have to worry about robbing us blind by not paying your taxes. Right? I mean, the goal of them to say that. And they conclude by saying, tax policy should not allow the value of created by investment to be taxed in jurisdictions whose only connection to the business is commercialization. Oh, that's awesome. Let me interpret. I mean, are you going to tax us where we actually do commercial business? No, you should tax us where we don't do business. The <laughs> gall on these guys, man. <laughs> Of course I'm going to tax you where you do business. That's the point of taxes. If you do business in California, you get taxed in California. Not in Bermuda, where there's conveniently 0% taxes. See, this is how the rules are rigged. This is how we get income inequality. This is how we get injustice. And our politicians are perfectly aware of this. Thank God somebody in Europe is trying to do something about it. But our guys here at home, they know all about this, and they let it happen all the time. So, look, I don't blame the Googles of the world that much. You set up a system like this, you'd be a sucker not to take advantage of it. W the regular American can't take advantage of it. It's funny how they said corporations are people, my friend, right? That's what Mitt Romney said, that's what the Supreme Court says. But they don't pay taxes like people. <laughs> they got special privileges. They have all of our rights, and then they have special privileges. So they go to the government, and they give them those campaign contributions, and they get everything that they want. The problem is the system. If you allow politicians to take money from these corporations, who will they serve? Of course they're going to serve those corporations. And this is exactly how they do it.